here okay so we will be um, studying about why the fluid mosaic model is called the fluid mosaic model so the first term what is the first term here the first term is fluid now why do we call this structure fluid now now beforehand the structure this model was proposed by singer and nicolson right why was the structure called a fluid because all the components you see here here's a hopanoid here's a glycolipid here's a integral membrane protein here's another integral membrane protein here's a peripheral membrane protein here's a uh, this one's a glycoprotein this one's again a hopanoid this one again a integral membrane protein so all these various types of components you see they are not in the same place they are constantly moving now this is basically a cross section of the plasma membrane and this is the outside right um this is the outside you can say and this is the inside right and this is the inside of the cell that's the outside of the cell and this is the inside of the cell so all the components you are seeing they are constantly moving this hopanoid is not in its same position maybe this hopanoid is is this is in this position at this moment but in the next moment it will change its position the integral membrane protein is at this position for now but maybe in the next maybe in the next moment it will not be in the same position again so that's why it is called fluid fluid because it is constantly moving then why is it called a mosaic now it is simple as that mosaic we call this mosaic because there are various types of components you can see you can see a hopanoid you can see a glycolipid you can see an integral membrane protein you can see another hopanoid here you can see another integral membrane protein here peripheral membrane protein integral then glycoprotein so you are seeing various components here various and as because it is having various components and that is the only reason it is called mosaic why mosaic because it has various types of components why fluid because all the components a plasma membrane is having they are constantly moving now a common question you can get asked from this particular topic is who proposed the fluid mosaic model it is singer and nichols so this is why we call this model fluid mosaic model you can type down all your questions you have from this topic it's really simple it's it's a really simple topic but even if you have any questions you can type down your questions and also you can check www.doctormicrobiologist for uh, participating in all the events we conducting and to get all study materials and notes from from the subject of microbiology if you are in new college majoring in microbiology you can definitely check out our website it's in the description below and you can also participate in our events so thanks a lot have a great day